Hey, everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into a fascinating topic. Are people without wisdom teeth more highly evolved? If you've ever had your wisdom teeth removed, you know the pain and struggles that come with it. But what if I told you some people never have to go through this? Make sure to stick around till the end to find out if we're on track to lose wisdom teeth altogether. Today, we're chatting about a topic that's bound to make you the life of any party. Wisdom teeth. Oh, the drama those little troublemakers can stir up. Get ready for some juicy stories of swollen faces, dry sockets, and jello feasts. It's the ultimate contest of who had it worse. So buckle up, folks. We're diving into the world of third molars. Wisdom teeth are technically called third molars, but let's be real. We all know them as the cash cows for oral surgeons and the source of our dental agony. So why wisdom teeth? Well, they typically show up between 17 and 25, when we're supposedly getting wiser, or at least trying to, with higher education. Now these pesky teeth love to cause trouble by getting impacted, coming in at weird angles or playing hide-and-seek in our mouths. This can lead to pain, infection, and even more drama, and even if they pop in perfectly, they're still a pain to clean, which can lead to rotting and messing up the lovely straight teeth your braces worked so hard for. That's why dentists usually recommend yanking them out before they get too attached, literally, to your jaw. So you might miss a few days of school or work to get these bad boys removed, but trust us, you won't miss them once they're gone. We don't even need them nowadays. But that begs the question, if we don't need them, why do they show up in the first place? Maybe they're just here to keep the oral surgeons in business or to give us something to talk about at dull parties. Who knows? Perhaps one day they'll vanish altogether, taking their dental drama with them. Next time you're struggling for conversation starters, just bring up Wisdom Teeth, the dental world's most notorious divas. You'll have people sharing horror stories and comparing battle scars in no time. Let's chat about the good old days, like 100 million years ago, when our ancestors had jaws big enough for all 32 teeth, including those pesky Wisdom Teeth. Can you imagine? These prehistoric dudes walked on all fours, and that massive jaw of theirs was the star of the show. Now, having a big jaw was pretty important back then. These early humans needed all 32 teeth to survive, since their arms were busy with balancing and running. Teeth were their top tools for catching, tearing apart, and eating their food, think leaves, roots, and raw meat. Yum, right? And dental checkups? Forget about it. Those third molars were like backup soldiers when other teeth were lost or worn down. Those third molars are what we now call wisdom teeth. But then evolution decided to shake things up and teeth weren't the main attraction anymore. Our ancestors started walking upright, freeing their arms to grab food. Plus, their brains got bigger and their jaws got shorter. Science folks aren't 100% sure which happened first, but in 2004, a team at the University of Pennsylvania found a gene called MYH16. Mutations in this gene lead to shorter jaws, which might have made room for our growing brains. So less space for teeth, but more room for smarts. As our heads and jaws changed, so did our culture. Around the same time, humans started creating tools, including cooking utensils, probably designed by the prehistoric version of Gordon Ramsay. With our bigger brains, we figured out how to soften food with fire. Our diets became way more processed. Seriously, compared to our ancestors' food, we're practically eating baby food. We don't even need all our teeth to survive today. Though it'd make date night a bit awkward, right? Anyway, we definitely stopped relying so much on wisdom teeth. Now, some folks don't believe in evolution and say that dietary changes and better dental hygiene are the reasons we don't need wisdom teeth anymore. But when you compare a prehistoric jaw with a modern one, there's clearly less space now. So can evolution explain this shift? And if we don't really need wisdom teeth anymore, will they eventually disappear? About 35% of people don't even develop wisdom teeth. So, are we on the express train to losing them for good? Some smarty pants experts think it's possible they'll vanish eventually, but there are still some mysteries to solve. Like, we don't know how our DNA is involved in creating those pesky third molars. They only grow after we're born, which is pretty unique for teeth. Since they're not present at birth, Mother Nature might have a tough time phasing them out, 
Wisdom teeth need some special tissue to migrate back in the mouth and chill with the back jaw tissue. If that doesn't happen, no tooth will grow there. Bummer, right? Now there could be other factors at play like diseases, head injuries, or even cultural differences in jaw usage. For instance, back in the 70s, scientists found that Eskimo women had larger jaws because they used to chew leather to soften it. On the other hand, East Asian folks tend to have fewer wisdom teeth, if any at all. So, if a culture stops using a trait, it might just disappear. But wait, there's more. Some scientists are like, why wait for evolution? Let's just get rid of these teeth ourselves. They're working on ways to stop wisdom teeth from growing using lasers or chemicals. It's like a sci-fi movie, but with teeth. They've had some success with dogs and rats, so who knows? Now, not having wisdom teeth doesn't give us a huge evolutionary advantage, especially since we have oral surgeons ready to yank those suckers out. It's hard to predict how this trait might change in the future. But hey, oral surgeons probably hope these teeth stick around, right? As for the rest of us, we'll just have to enjoy our ice cream and swap wisdom teeth surgery stories. Those lucky few without wisdom teeth might think they're more evolved, but what do they talk about at dull parties? Getting wisdom teeth removed is pricey and recovering can be a pain, literally, with bleeding, swelling, infection, and nerve injury as potential complications. Still, many dentists recommend removal to avoid problems from impacted teeth. It's best to do it when you're young, before the teeth get too attached to the jaw. However, in 2007, dentist J.W. Friedman claimed that at least two-thirds of extractions are unnecessary. Some dentists believe these teeth can come in just fine and not cause trouble. They argue we should only remove wisdom teeth that are impacted. Others say they're still hard to clean and should go. So, are we smarter without wisdom teeth? You be the judge. And that's a wrap on today's video, folks. We've learned about the evolution of wisdom teeth, their potential obsolescence, and how some people are simply born without them. It's incredible to think that our diets and cultural shifts have played a role in the prevalence of wisdom teeth, and that one day, they might even disappear. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on more amazing content like this. Let me know in the comments below if you've had your wisdom teeth removed, or if you're one of the lucky few without them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.